Okay, everyone. Uh, we're gonna go through some PowerPoint of a question of some questions, uh, and for each question that we are going to answer, we are actually going to revise the topic first because this is a revision worksheet. Okay, so that you can uh, derive at the answer on your own. Okay, so let's start with the first question. This is the first question. Which of the following is not a matter? So before we do this, we're going to revise what is matter. All right, so let's look at what a matter is. A matter is anything or that uh, a thing that occupies space and has mass. So a thing is matter if it has mass and it occupies space. Now we also know that uh, all matter has mass. Uh, what, what the first sentence is trying to say that all matter has mass. Uh, that means that matter can be measured, okay, in grams or kilograms, or, or you know any other uh, unit of measurement. So as long as something can uh, be measured, uh, its mass can be measured. There's a high chance it is uh, matter uh, because it also has to satisfy the second. Uh, criteria we also know that all matter occupies space and that's why it has volume all right so volume can be measured in cubic centimeters uh, cm this is the unit cubic centimeters uh, it can also be it can also be uh, measured in milliliters or even liters so as long as something we can measure the volume and we can measure the mass, then that's how you know it is matter. So let's look at the question again. Which of the following is not a matter? And let's do the first one music. Can we have, can we measure the weight of music? All right? Uh, no, actually, we can't, right? Uh, music, we can't say, oh, there's here, come, uh, let's have. Let's listen to five grams of music. We can't do that. Okay. Neither can we uh, measure the volume of music. All right. That means if we were to play a music into a container, uh, there'll come a point where the music in the container gets full. You can't do that because music has no mass and music has no volume. All right. Uh, that means music does not occupy space. Okay, uh, don't get yourself confused because uh, we also use the word volume for sound, right? Especially when you're playing it on your computer or on your uh, electronic devices. You know, you can increase the volume and lower the volume. That is how loud, how soft something, a uh, sound is. Uh, but there is not, uh, but when you talk about volume in, terms of matter we're talking about it occupying space music can't occupy space you know uh, because it is not matter just like music can't be measured let's look at the second one uh, just like music can't be uh, music's mass can't be measured let's look at the second option raindrops uh, that can can we measure the mass of rain Actually, we can, right? If we collect enough raindrops uh, in a beaker, we can actually measure the mass, uh, how heavy uh, that water is, okay, and how much space it fills up. I'm sure you have seen how we poured uh, water into a beaker and raindrops are made out of water. And we can actually measure the mass and the volume of that water. Okay, so let's look at the third option, earthworms. Now, earthworms, does it have mass? Well, we, if we collect enough earthworms, earthworms are very tiny little things. But if we collect enough earthworms in a beaker, uh, in any container, put it in an electronic weighing scale or even a simple weighing scale, if we collect enough, there will be weight. Okay, there will be, uh, we can actually find the earthworms weight that means it has mass. Uh, likewise, we can, uh, if we were to collect enough earthworms, we can put it in a container. Now, there will come a point in time where there's 
no no more space in that container for any more earthworms to be in that's because earthworms occupy space so the more earthworms we have the more space uh, those earthworms are going to occupy therefore uh, earthworms does have a uh, uh, mass and earthworms uh, do occupy space option four is baby powder now uh baby powder or talcum powder you know if you if you uh buy them from the shop they come in a container uh, again it feels the container feels heavier when you first buy them but as you use uh the powder daily it gets lesser and lesser in an empty bottle uh, until you have an empty bottle and it feels much lighter and that's because baby powder has weight and when the more we use the lighter it gets right because the more weight is going to be uh, removed from that bottle likewise uh, if we have a baby powder bottle we can't be filling it with uh, you know endless amount of baby powder because they will be uh, more and more uh, what do you call that space that the baby powder is going to occupy until there is a maximum amount so baby powder we can measure its mass we can measure its volume earthworm we can measure its mass we can measure its volume raindrops which is made of water we can measure the volume of water we can measure the mass of water and finally music we cannot measure the mass of music nor can we measure how much space the music occupies in a beaker for example so uh one of these things is not a matter uh, so you can now decide right knowing what a matter is all right and best of luck in the worksheet in doing the worksheet question one